Previously on Canada's Next Top Model. Oh my God! The models dive into makeover day. Sinead emerges a front runner, while Rebecca has major reservations about her dramatic new look. If I was to see me walking down the street, I'd think I was a freak. At the house, Tara's new look releases her larger than life personality. Oh, fucking splashing around my new feet. And the wrath of some of her competitors. I wish she'd know how much of a bitch she sounds like. At a freaky photo shoot, oh. Steph's fish phobia reduces her to tears. Everything's good. It's okay. But in judging, it's Jacqueline who slips through the cracks and is sent packing. Eight girls remain. Who will be eliminated tonight? What you got? None of us thought that Jackie was going home, and she did, and all of us were super shocked. So today is officially my saddest day in the house, because Jacqueline left, and it is the most unexpected thing. It's really hard, because there's the friendship things, and then there's the competition. I'm kind of getting excited, because she was definitely some competition, so. Numbers are shortening down, and I'm kind of liking it. We came home today after um, the elimination, and we walked into the house, and there's like bags set up, and a card from Jay. Take lots of photos. Practice makes perfect. You never know when I'll stop by to check them out. Jay, excellent. Oh! So we opened the bags. There was digital cameras for everyone. Like that is, it was amazing. Each of them had a Kodak camera in them, and they were awesome. All the girls got really excited, and we right away immediately started taking pictures of each other, and then <laughs> started printing them out and posting them on the wall. Yes! That's freaking awesome. It's going up on the board. on and some of you are already walking on thin ice so get ready to face off with the master Runway. we headed to the ice rink and we stood out on this red carpet and we were just so confused because we didn't know what was going to go on I saw the hockey players, and it was just really exciting because it's like it's not just a whole bunch of contact with estrogen. There was some testosterone in there, so it was a lot of fun. Yeah. And then someone came out, and you couldn't really tell who it was. Alexander skated in, and I was just jaw to the floor, shocked. It was, oh, I was so happy. I was really happy because I knew that when it came to being taught how to walk, that that's, that's the top. Welcome, ladies, to the glorious Hershey Center. I am your model coach for today. You have no idea what you're about to get into. And today, you girls will be going over and putting on a pair of ice skates. You will then show me how graceful you really can be on and off the ice. Put your weight on your 
<laughs> My first impression of the girls was eight cold ice maidens. But I think they were just cold because they were in shock. I've never been on a pair of skates before. I've never been on ice before. <laughs> I am absolutely petrified right now. You're good, I got you. Oh. This is it. The rise and fall of Mo Nidalo. I just knew it wasn't going to be a very pretty sight. OK, girls, what you're going to do is you're going to skate to your partner. One at a time. You ready? <laughs> it's your little warm up. Quite a confident little start. Sinead. Oh, God. You need to keep grace and balance. It's so important. Very, very important. G oh, that was beautiful, Gia. <laughs> Gia, partner, Tia. Corey, you can ice skate. Unfortunately for Mo, Mo has never done this before. Go, Mo! The whole time I wasn't as excited as I should have been because I was freaking out. Keep going now. Ow! Oh! 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 Canada's next top model is brought to you. So focused. Okay, Miss Mo, up see Daisy girl. Let's go. <laughs> Don't say anything. It's not about being good the first time. It's about sticking with it. She wiped out three times, like in a row, and like she just kept doing it, you know. And that's like I think what really matters. Posture, balance, balance, posture. Yes! <laughs> got it. You got it. Congratulations. Matt, oh my god, I'm in love with him now just because he is so understanding. He just said to me, I got you, don't worry about it. I would help you through this. And it really, really helped. Pose off! Get creative! Skating with the boys today was really fun. Just hanging out, you know, and they were having a good time with us. Pose! So what we learned here with the guys was about grace, poise, and posing. Now put your high heels on, and the real runway lesson continues here on your red carpet. May the best girl win. But let's get this runway started. I've seen him on TV. I've seen what he does. And it's, it's a huge learning experience. Has anybody danced before? Dancers are the worst students. They walk on the beats of music, and you cannot and should not walk on the beats of music all the time. So what I want you to do is to walk. I'm going to give you some little tips. It was a bit hard in the beginning to get the girls relaxed. The way that I do that is just let them know that, you know, we are not perfect. I mean, I'm perfect, but they're not perfect. Yes, it's cold here. I feel it. I'm freezing my feet <laughs> one at a time. Do your thing, and you will be facing me. Let's go, big cake. As far as photography and runway, I think runway is probably my forte. The only piece of criticism I got was whenever I pose not to lean back, just to, to stay with a strong pose. Other than that, it was good. She has a lot of personality, actually, on the catwalk, I thought. He said I've shaken my money maker too much. <laughs> Harsh. Just control your money maker in the rear just a little bit. Control it just a bit. Mo took little short steps yes. that made him walk like a little wind-up toy. Better. Most Jay's criticism was definitely my posture. I've had scoliosis, slight scoliosis in my back for like since I was little. It's something that I know like always that I've had to work on. Oh, I've never done any runway, anything like this is my first time or everything. There is potential there with her. Corey had a problem just in shoes. She had a problem coordinating her body. So now I need you to come back halfway and do that again. Can you come back? I felt bad for Corey. She was trying to relax, but I just, I don't think she could get the hang of it. That's why it's called a lesson. That's why it's called a lesson. 
Come on, we're not finished. You keep on. Go back. Go ahead. When I gave Corey a critique on her walk and she wrote down crying means that she's, for me, it translates weak. I, I have post traumatic stress syndrome. And when I start crying, I just can't stop. Oh. Corey, come here. <laughs> just let him shake you. I want you to stand here right now on the count of three and scream as loud as you can. One, two, three, just scream. <laughs> Louder. I want you to kind of go. <laughs> Miss J said that I moved my head a lot. Gina had a head bobbing problem. And when a head bob, a boobs bob, and everything else is bobbing. Stop with her. <laughs> no, but I notice what you're doing, and you, and you walk heel, toe, feet first. To yeah, you like walk in heel, toe first. Okay. I feel actually really confident in my walk. I did a lot of like little itty bitty fashion shows in Calgary. I know my body really well because I'm a dancer. She was sort of a bit easy to watch and easy to teach. But well, here's one of the walks that I saw. <laughs> <laughs> the other walk that I saw was this one. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's Gina. <laughs> I have someone here with me today who wants to see how you all have been doing so far. Stacy! Hi, Miss J. We have some girls who are just quite natural, but need some technique. Follow me. Hey, what's going on? My name is Matt Gable, and welcome to a very special edition of My China Man. Today, we have the eight finalists from Canada's next top model on the show. They're going to be strutting their stuff right here in a walk-off. After we left the arena, we ended up at the Trump building, and we got our, our challenge, which was the runway. They're not going to see your pretty little faces. No, darling. It's going to be all about a cat suit and a veil. And it's all about what you learned today. It's all about your walk. And what would a competition be without the show's host, Jay Manuel? Jay, come on in. <laughs> Good to see you. Happy to have you here. Good to see you. I'm glad to be here. Good to see you again. Can you tell us what's happening today on the show? Well, as you said, we've got the eight finalists of Canada's Next Top Model here today, and we want you guys, the audience, to tell us who has the best runway walk. Now, you're not gonna be able to see their faces because it's all about the attitude and the swagger, but you are gonna know who they are by what they're carrying. Ms. J, are you in the house? <laughs> Ms. J? That's what I'm talking about. Tell me, how were they a bit? Uh, I have a few flodonkosauruses today. Oh, what? <laughs> Are you guys good judges of great walk? I'm gonna bow out, because I don't want them to know I'm here today. So you guys gonna do a good job? Are you sure? We got energy? All right. Ready? No, remember, it's a runway show. Tone down on the sexy a little bit. Do you really want this? Yes. Look at that. She is like full, full on. I just hope I don't get over it. OK, let's have our first model come on down. Intimidated with the, the pink outfits, but you know, you rock it, and as soon as you go out there, you don't even realize that you have it on in those crazy props. The energy of the crowd, I think, really gave people a lot of confidence. Go, kill it!
She is whipping it. She is whipping it. Now that's a whipper. <laughs> We're gonna judge this competition once the models leave. The first one we have is Sinead, and she was the girl carrying the apple. No one like Whoa. I could have heard a cricket in there. That kind of scared me a little bit. Mo, tennis racket. <laughs> Steph, toilet brush. <laughs> Tia, swimmer. Corey, flowers. Kara, whisk. <laughs> Rebecca, frying pan. <laughs> Gina, pom pom. <laughs> I think we both know who won. So thank you all for coming. Thanks for all of your support. Welcome back. Better. But Stacy wasn't too thrilled. And why is that, Stacy? Some of you guys, I didn't feel that you really, really wanted it. You have the opportunity of a lifetime. You're here to be chosen, one of you, to be Canada's next top model, right? That is major. Do you really, really want it? Yes! All right, then, here we go. The winner today will receive a watch from Bon Le Messier. It's a diamond watch, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I have it here. And the winner of this Bon Le Messier diamond watch is... Tara! Oh, thank you. Thank you. If you can't get it off my hands within 10 seconds, it belongs to me. <laughs> Tara's height is quite impressive. And her walk, once she got a few pointers, she was quite comfortable with it. That's why she's walking around with that diamond watch and all of those girls are gagging. I'm pissed that Tara won. I'm just pissed, one, because we're gonna have to hear about it all night. I really don't even think she deserved it. She didn't improve at all. Like, what did she take away from it? Mo went from little steps, all like, mm, to, you know, graceful, doing great. Gina went from like a limp arm to like swinging both of them. Like that should have been taken in consideration, you know? If you know how to do it, then why isn't she famous already? I'm so happy about the watch, but it's also just being able to win the challenge also is made me really happy. We're in the elevator after she won, going downstairs to get in the cars, and I sing two lines from a song that everybody likes. Tara starts laughing at me, and she looks at Gina, and then Gina, because she's glued to Tara's hip now all of a sudden, she goes, no singing in the elevator. And I swear to God, the way I looked at her, if she didn't know I was pissed off, if she ever says anything like that to me again, I'm gonna snap. Tara was being a little bit of biatch all day. After winning the challenge, she just bragged about it and shoved it in everyone's faces. I watch is diamond. We all decided we were going to do a group project, and we were taking photos, and we did everyone. Even Gina was like, yeah, I want to get my picture taken up there. And I'm like, Tara, you want to go? And she's just like, no. Nope. <laughs> and I was just like, here, Mo, take a picture of my ass. She did, and I put it up. And we didn't label it Tara or anything like that. That's just cruel. But I just wrote, an ass. She should be able to take it if she can give it out that well. You know that one girl who I told you is just so experienced? Uh -huh. She won the challenge today. And she just is, like, rubbing it in our face. Corey f***ing is so rude to me all the time. But I think she just, like, uh, I think it's because she's intimidated by I found out something that most of the girls here think I'm snobbish and that they don't like me. She's getting on everybody's nerves. I don't care what anybody thinks. We run in everybody's best books. <laughs> I hope Gina goes away so that Tara doesn't have an ally. <laughs> I had all my stuff kind of piled up between Sinead and my, both of our beds. I brought way too much stuff. So I thought to make some more room, I'd just lift uh, Jacqueline's bed up and put my shoes on that side. <laughs> 
I just found it really disrespectful that she'd only left the night before and her bed was toppled over just for shoes. Little did I know that was not a smart move. She left Jacqueline's pillow on my bed. She said she thought I might want to sleep with her. I don't want to be reminded that she oh. left. And so I started laughing. <laughs> There's like three other people in okay. here. Nobody else is wondering about putting their shoes there. Like, See, it's, like, you're, it's and just you're still differences. Like, where's my bed? That's cool. Laugh it off then. Where's my it's bed? It's really funny. I'm not huge on that whole, let me fight it with you about my point again. Honestly, I would never disrespect Jacqueline. And I, and I get that. I, I totally understand that. But at the same why time, why is there conflict? I just think there should have been, you know, an apology, and I don't think you should have laughed in, in everyone's face. So you're still leaving mad? That's cool. Good. I'm just going to do my own thing, and, and, you know, they'll do their thing, and if I can tune them out, I will. <laughs> Morning, we were taking to the greenhouse. After thought, we'd probably be doing runway or something, just because there's so many pathways and things like that. Good morning, ladies. How are you? Good. Well, as you all know, you've learned how to pose in front of the cameras, and you've learned how to walk in front of the cameras. But today, you're going to learn how to talk in front of the cameras, because we're going to be doing a television commercial for Venus Breeze Razors. Woo! <laughs> When I found out it was a commercial today, I went into immediate, I wouldn't say like stress panic, but really close to that because I know it's like my weakest point. So girl, are you ready to shave them up? Yes! Let's get in the hair and makeup. Let's go. Now this is going to be your script. You have some time to study this. So like strong and confident Make... and like I mean it. Right. And you will have to read the script without the paper in front of you. Are you liking the hair color? Yes. Are you feeling more confident now? Yes, definitely. So try to memorize everything. I will. Does it look sexy? Discover how Venus Breeze flexes the closely fit your curves. The only razor with built-in shave gel bars. I'm going to bring my attitude and my personality and my dimples and just be me. I expect to do fairly good in this challenge. And action. Imagine a breeze that makes you feel beautiful. Introducing Venus Breeze. You kept wobbling your head there. Ugh. I don't want Gina Wobblehead. Okay. It's amazing. You don't realize how hard it really is. Gina. Gina ties it, baby. Like I always say, Gina ties absolutely beautiful. New Venus Breeze. Reveal the goddess in you. I did have a couple good takes, but I could have done better. Where's Mo? Oh. Mo is such a warm and inviting personality that you always want Mo to do well. And action! Experience how it effortlessly glides, releasing a light lather, so there's no need for shave cream. You need to say releasing. Experience how it effortlessly glides, releasing a light lather, so there's no need for shave cream. Did I say releasing? All right. No, you didn't. I may have been disadvantaged because if you wanted to shoot a commercial in Canada, you probably want someone with a Canadian accent introducing. Mm -hmm. So everything is with a G. When you're selling a product, you need to know how to pronounce each syllable. Releasing a light leather. Releasing a light leather. Do we have time for one more? I did very terribly yesterday on the runway, and I need to prove to the judges that I still deserve to be here. I want you to rock it. Okay. All right? Yeah. I was mostly worried about what Nole was thinking. Okay, Corey, remember, very feminine. Try to go through the whole thing. And action, Corey. Imagine a breeze that can make you feel beautiful. Introducing Venus Breeze, the only razor with built-in shave gel bars. New Venus Breeze, reveal the goddess in you. Girl, I'm telling you, you are one of those secret weapons that come out of nowhere. <laughs> she really had a bubbly personality. She had a great smile. I did not expect Corey to do well at all. But she came up, and within two or three takes, she was nailing it and absolutely looked stunning. Got it. That was okay. not bad, Corey. Thank you. This competition's going to get tough, baby. You are Thank great. You. I've always had a bad memory, and that's what I always struggled with in school. Ready to break a razor? Yep. This was really, really, really hard for me. OK, Rebecca, action. Imagine a breeze that can make you feel beautiful. Introducing Venus Breeze. 
The only... She kind of stumbled through the, her lines, but what really was the sad part, or the really hard part for Rebecca, was her voice. The only razor with a built-in shave gel bars. It seems like you're going to the death penalty <laughs> more than selling these razors. <laughs> really smile, really give it to me. Imagine a breeze that can make you feel beautiful. Yes, I want to imagine. I want to know about this shaver. Okay. I want to shave my hairy legs. <laughs> I was really trying to focus and try my best, okay. but I know I didn't do good. Rebecca, you have it. So you leap. Ah! Take seven. Take nine. Take 11. It went really bad. Venus Breeze, reveal the goddess in you. That was rough. I'm a little stressed out because I just don't want to go home. Okay, guys, we're starting in five seconds. Focus. Introducing Venus Breeze, the only razor with built-in shaved gel bars. I was pretty confident with what I was doing, and I was trying to, like, put expression on words that doesn't sound so cheesy. Revealing the goddess in you. Introducing Venus Breeze, the only razor with built-in shaved gel bars. I am blown away how Sinead has no acting experience at all and completely understood where the camera was, completely professional. New Venus Breeze, reveal the goddess in you. <laughs> Did a great job. It does make me more confident that I won't be going home. Good luck. I'm extremely happy about this commercial because I've been acting since I was like eight. Yeah, so I'm extremely happy about this. Are you ready to rock and roll stuff? Yes, sir. Introducing new Venus Breeze. Venus Breeze reveals the goddess in you. So these are key words you need to remember, okay? Introducing Venus Breeze. <sighs> That's okay. Sorry, I'll start that line over again. Steph, you know, she has such a wonderfully large personality. There's a lot of razor bumps going on in her performance today. I just got super, super nervous because Nole was watching me and I was worried I was gonna mess up. Sorry. Introducing the new Venus Breeze. No, introducing Venus Breeze. There's no new. Introducing new Venus Breeze. Why am I doing this? I would forget words halfway through and have to restart the line, and it was just really choppy. We're going to have to give you cue cards, okay? And I suggest that you use them. Introducing Venus Breeze, the only razor with built-in shave gel bars. She really surprised me, and she did not step up to the plate. She really had a hard time remembering her lines. It didn't go as well as I hoped it would. You okay, honey? Mm-hmm. You seem a little nervous or something. Give me your hand. Okay. I'm just really stressed because I have a real, like, disadvantage. Reading in general is just really hard for me. And, um... Situations like this just bring back horrible memories. Do you have dyslexia? Okay, look at me. That's okay. I have dyslexia, too. That won't stop you. I know, I'm just... From going ahead. She actually caused herself more damage in the beginning than she, she needed to. None of the girls have done it perfect yet. So don't you worry about that. All right? Okay. Action! Imagine a breeze that can make you feel beautiful. Introducing Venus Breeze, the only razor with built-in shave gel bars. Mm -hmm. No, no, honey. You know what? You're doing, you're doing great. I'm not lying to you. Shake it off. Releasing a light lather. So there's I no need. I got a few takes down decently, but I just had some trouble with some of those words. Releasing a light lather. So there's no need for shave cream. New Venus Breeze. Release the goddess in you. All right, Tia. She did pretty well. Even though she had a lot to overcome, Tia did not do bad. I did not too well on my commercial. So when you're ready, let me know. And action. Imagine a breeze that makes you feel beautiful. Introducing Venus Breeze. I felt like I just took a sleeping pill. Let's start that from the top. And honey, give me energy. The only razor with built-in shave gel bars. Experience how effortlessly it glides, releasing a light lather. lather. You sound constipated when you're, when you're talking right now. The only razor with built-in gel shave bars. <laughs> She's so cute, I'm sorry. I pronounce things so wrong all the time. Honestly, I don't think we got the performance at all. I'm really scared that they're just gonna send me home. And 
I don't want to go home. And I'm just really scared about that happening. Hold it up higher, yeah. I thought Tara was going to really step up. And actually, she was the worst. And I was really hoping maybe Gina <laughs> would even step up and maybe be able to yeah. take that throne as a spokesperson. You know, Two girls that shocked me were Sinead and Corey, who's been kind of in the background. But today, she was an amazing superstar. Tara was feeling really down today, so I guess it, it does switch day to day. Like, I was on the bottom yesterday, and today I'm on the top. Hey, girls. So you learned a lot this week. I mean, skating, walking, talking. That's a lot to handle. But tomorrow is judging time, and that means only seven of you are going to continue on in hopes of becoming Canada's next top model. I'll see you in the judging room. Tomorrow is going to suck. I'm feeling calm. I know it's elimination day today. I hate judging me. Just so I late. have no idea who's going to go home, and I'm not very confident going in just because of the last two that we've had. The tension is definitely building after each elimination, and they just get touchier and touchier, and that's when things start to explode. Well, hello, ladies. What a week you guys have had. From the master to the disasters, you girls really did have a crash course in modeling, wouldn't you say? Was it fun? Yeah. yeah. Learned a lot? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, that's the important thing. Well, let's talk about our amazing prizes. First, a modeling contract with top agency, Sutherland Models, an editorial spread in Fashion Magazine, and then you know the third one, a $100,000 modeling contract with P&G Beauty, makers of Venus Breeze and Olay. So let's introduce you guys to your judges, acclaimed fashion and celebrity photographer, Paul Alexander. Good evening, ladies. International supermodel, Yasmin Warsame, literally off the plane and right into her seat today. Hi, girls. Fashion journalist and editor, Jeannie Becker. Nice to see you surviving, girls. <laughs> My friend and fellow judge from America's Next Top Model, super fabulosity, Miss J. Alexander. I'm going to try to be very nice today. Oh, I why? Did... Because you're in Canada? Well, no, because I did bring one girl to model tear droplets. Tear droplets? Yes. So, girls, after watching you and working with you this week, I'm going to bring you each back one by one to see your individual runway walks. Give us your signature walk and that pencil skirt. And remember what I taught you the other day. Adam really knows how to do this walk. Can you can you give us a little demo there for you? That's it. Coming down. Right. Yeah. Bop, 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 bop. It is very Dior. Oh yeah. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you girls not only learned how to walk and show off those legs, but you did your very first commercial for Venus Breeze. So let's take a look at the result of your commercial. Imagine a breeze that can make you feel beautiful. Introducing Venus Breeze, the only razor with built-in shaved gel bars. Experience how it effortlessly glides, releasing a light lather so there's no need for shave cream. Discover how Venus Breeze flexes to closely fit your curves, leaving skin feeling silky smooth. Not every woman can breeze through her day feeling beautiful. 
in you. Venus breathes. Reveal the goddess in you. That's your first commercial, guys. How do you feel about it? It looks great, right? Ooh, it looks great. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, now it's time for your individual <laughs> assessments. And we've randomly drawn names. And tonight, Steph, you're first. Your yeah, we'll start was a bit rough, but you managed to get through it. A little more work. You had us there, and then you kind of lost us when you were going up the steps. So now let's take a look at your best line read from the Venus Breeze commercial. Imagine a breeze that can make you feel beautiful. Introducing Venus Breeze, the only razor with built-in shave gel bars. I don't believe that you believe in the words that you're saying. All right, Corey. The part of your walk that I was most impressed by was what you did right down here. The rest of the walk, though, I could have done without. Let's take a look at your best line read. Imagine a breeze that can make you feel beautiful. Introducing Venus Breeze. The dancing eyebrows were so distracting. I thought your read was pretty good. All right, Gina, um, you gave us an interesting walk. Now you have to work on after the bobble head, the bobble boobs. Yeah. What do the, the bobble boobs look like? <laughs> They're bouncing quite a bit. And let's take a look at your best line read. Now every woman can breeze through her day feeling beautiful. It's too much like, uh, and she's smiling, and she's smiling, and she's smiling. Tyra is known for saying, smile with your eyes. Yeah. Oh, what's that look for? What's wrong? I just remembered myself in the skirt. <laughs> yeah, you slipped. It's not about perfection. No one likes perfection. They really don't. So, Mo, let's take a look at your best line read. Not every woman can breeze through her day feeling beautiful. I actually heard a little bit mm -hmm. Naomi yes, Campbell mixed with um, Sebastian the Crab in <laughs> Walt Disney's <laughs> The Little Mermaid. You know, you were, you were fighting with yourself with your face in, in, in some of those scenes. Sinead, you're next. That walk you gave us... No oomph. There is no excitement, no spark. I wanted to ask you to stop and take off the shoes, you know? Let's take a look at your best line read. Discover how Venus Breeze flexes to closely fit your curves, leaving skin silky smooth. Now every woman can breeze through her day feeling beautiful. The confidence in, in that read is fantastic. Rebecca, let's take a look at your best line read. Imagine a breeze that makes you feel beautiful. Introducing Venus Breeze. That was as irritating as sand in swimming trunks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like a cutesy, like... Girly, girly. Like, you know... Sorry. You say you, you're not a girly girl, you should be able to turn it out. Tara, the rest of the panel doesn't know this. Jay and I know that you were the challenge winner this week. Let's take a look at your best line read. The only razor with built-in shave gel bars. It was god awful. Okay. All right. So, Tia, you know, let's talk about your runway walk a bit. I didn't even remember doing it. I guess I was so... If it just goes by and you don't remember it, it means you weren't really engaging in a flow and you weren't present. Let's take a look at your best line read. Discover how Venus breathes. Discover how Venus breathes flexes to closely fit your curves. What's wrong, Tia? Tell us what's wrong. I want to hear what you're struggling with. I'm dyslexic, so it was really hard for me to do it. Don't apologize for it. You had no choice in being the way you are. Nobody's perfect. Sometimes our obstacles do help teach us. Well, now it's time for the judges to deliberate. And when we call you back in, I will let you know which one of you young ladies will be going home tonight. So I think this week it's going to be a little challenging because the girls learned how to walk mm -hmm. and talk, and we really need to assess their entire week's work. Steph. A lot of room for improvement. She has some great energy. Mo. Beautiful girl, great little body. She's not tall enough for the runway. Rebecca is memorable. Is her look classic? Is it, or is it very of the moment? What do you think of Sinead? Sinead is a natural beauty. I'm not that impressed with her physical presence on the runway, shall we say. 
Gina, Gina improved a lot. I don't know how versatile she'd be. Corey. Corey is absolutely gorgeous. She's not confident yet with her body. Tia is a little scary to me. She's a startled bird. There's something always just not there. Tara. Yasmin, what do you I think? I think she's stunning. Tara definitely has the potential to be an international model. A great editorial model? I don't see that. OK, we have a decision. I think part of my job is I have to be really honest with you girls. And this week was a bad week overall, performance-wise. To be quite honest with you, the first few names I'm going to call doesn't mean that you were successful. It just means it just happens to be the first few names I call. There are eight of you in front of me, and I only have seven photos in my hand. First name I'm gonna call. At least we all agree she has a great walk, Tara. You know what you need to work on, right? So badly. Congratulations. You're still in the running to becoming Canada's next top model. Thank you. Thank you. Corey. Congratulations. Thanks, guys. Sinead. Well, that's a better walk. Why didn't we see that earlier today? Congratulations, you're still in the running. The next name I'm gonna call. Rebecca. Thank you. I don't even need to say it, do I? I need to work on memorization and a lot of things. A lot of things. Congratulations. Thank you. Mo. First of all, pick an accent when you do a commercial. Right? Congratulations, you're still in the running to become Canada's next top model. Thank you. The next name I'm gonna call, actually, I actually have a message for her first. Be confident and strong in who you are. You're your own worst critic. Tia. Congratulations. Will Gina and Steph please step forward? I only have one photo in my hands. And this one photo represents a girl who's still going to continue on in hopes of becoming Canada's next top model. Whoever's name I do not call must immediately go back to the house, pack your bags, and go home. Both of you have stood in the bottom three for the entire competition. Gina, the judges feel that even though you're a beautiful girl, probably not a model and just more of an actress. Steph, you have this personality. You had the opportunity to show it off in a television commercial. Fell flat. We went back and forth. Dynamic personality. Pretty picture. What's more important? I guess, Gina, there's always room for improvement. You're blown away. <laughs> You're gonna have to blow us away with your next photo shoot. Congratulations. You're still in the running to becoming Canada's next top model. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Three strikes, you're out. I know. <laughs> I tried really hard. I didn't want to cry. <laughs> Can I go? Thanks, Steph.
I'm upset, obviously. I didn't want to go home. I'm not surprised by the judge's decision because Jay told me on the second judging day, he said three strikes and you're out. I'm gonna miss Tia the most in this house for sure, just because she was the most outgoing and the most like me. It's not going to ruin my confidence as, as a model at all because I know that there's other people that will be looking for someone like me.